quick before video. Uh, we're doing a specialized hot rock. And so this will turn out pretty good. We've got some good plans for it. Uh, sand down the frame, um, change the color on it, sand down the forks, change the color on those, sand down those little tiny handlebars, uh, and then put a new, some new parts on. And it's gonna look pretty cool. I uh, can't wait for you guys to check this one out. Um, we got some good ideas on how to make this thing look cool. But yeah, this is what it looks like now. And you'll follow along as we, uh, as we build this up. Got the first coat, base coat on, just got a couple more coats to throw on there. This coat here is gonna be the, uh, the base coat so that I can apply um, the decals too, which will be a stencil. Um, and so the idea is uh, get this base coat on of, of gloss white, then I'll apply some stencils, um, which will be the, uh, the graphics for the bike. Um, and then as I, uh, as I finish, applying the stencils, then I'll put on the, the primary color. The primary color for this bike is gonna be purple. And uh, once I spray the coats of purple on uh, and finish those up, uh, I'll then take the decals off and what we'll, re re we'll reveal is a, uh, a gloss white, um, a gloss white decal or logo actually in paint instead of actually stickers uh, underneath. So that, that I've learned how to do that. It comes out pretty good. And then from there, we'll do a uh, uh, some clear coat over top of it, some gloss clear coat to make it nice and shiny. Um, and that will be the uh, that'll be the paint job. So it'll be purple with white lettering underneath, um, which will look really cool. All right, the purple's starting to really come in now. This is uh, second coat. Last coat of purple is put up, put on. Just gotta peel these stickers off. Get those stickers off, and then clear coat it. Okay, got the last coat of clear coat on frame. It's a really pretty purple. A few coats of clear on there. Kind of get a sense of this color a little better now. So those aren't decals, that is white paint that I used um, some stenciling on. Kind of put, uh, put Sailor's name on there. Uh, Sailor Grace Peptidus, hope you like your bike. And uh, that's your initials on the front uh, tube there, the head tube. And uh, gonna let that dry overnight, along with the forks and handlebars. And then we'll get to building. What's up guys? Uh, we're gonna get started on this, on a build for a, a friend of ours that's uh, putting together a 16 inch, I think I said 13 inch in another part of the video, so just disregard that. But it's a 16 inch specialized hot rock that um, you know, it was uh, well used and time for a rebuild uh, for his daughter, and we wanted to do he wanted to do something custom for it. So, um, stripped it down, uh, repainted it purple uh, with some white stenciling, and uh, getting ready to put it together. And I just wanted to kind of go through the parts real quick, to show you what we're putting together. Um, you know, it's a coaster brake bike, but uh, got some pretty cool stuff that we're going to put on. Um, we've got some. I can focus in here. We got some Skyway Tough Twos, 16 inch white with uh, Colt Vans tires. Pretty wide tires for a uh, 16 inch bike, so it's gonna be pretty cool. Got the Vans logo there. So we're gonna put those on. We also have some white GT platform pedals uh, to help make the bike pop even more. Um, uh, with the white uh, stenciling and, and the purple background. Uh, we have a white GT sprocket. It's pretty cool. It'll look nice with it. We have some purple ODI grips. 
uh, with some white end caps again to kind of bring out the white. We have a white GT mallet stem. Uh, this would be great to have. Um, a purple rant chain. Original uh, suit clamp. Repainted that black. A mission uh, headset. That will get installed. They have a GT BMX saddle with a Black Ops uh, chromoly, a 4130 chromoly uh, seat post. And then lastly, for the, uh, the cranks, we got these little tiny uh, cranks uh, by Salt BMX, three-piece cranks um, with the American bottom bracket. Uh, but what's so great about it is it's gonna have sealed bearings instead of those uh, loose ball bearings. And so we'll tie all that together um, and get it built. Uh, so looking forward to it. It's going to be a good build. You guys have kind of already seen paint work, but I'll give you another shot of that as I've got it on, on the bike stand now. Kind of get a better view of it. Uh, we got this beautiful purple color and the white stenciling as I showed you, along with the initials on the front. Which I think look pretty good.
All right, just finished it up, put it together. This is a 16 inch specialized hot rock. A lot of the kids, you know, grow up on these bikes. Uh, my daughter had one um, that she learned how to ride. And, uh, you know, uh, a good friend of mine who's um, had me work on a few different bikes, um, brought this one to me. It was white, like they traditionally are the white ones. Um, and it was, you know, uh, it was used. It was well, 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 well loved, which is great. Um, but he wanted the purple bike. I told him, let's figure out a way to put something cool together. He has a dyno a detour um, that I had redone. I had it powder coated purple um, and then uh, built up. Uh, it had some, you know, Skyway Tough Twos. So this is a good way for her to have a similar bike to her dad um, as she learns to ride. So this is really, really cool. It turned out really great. So Jason, hope you enjoy this. But this, uh, I'll go down the parts list for everybody. So first of all, we took the, the frame and the forks and the handlebars and stripped those down um, to, to the metal and then applied uh, a couple coats of purple um, with a base coat of white first, which you'll see you know, her name there um, on the frame, that is um, white paint. That's actually not decals. So I put a stencil on there, sprayed those over. You guys probably saw the beginning of that, but just as a recap. Uh, but we've got 16 inch Skyway Tough Twos with a coaster brake uh, on the front and in the rear. We have um, Salt BMX uh, cranks, uh, a, GT, um, a, a GT sprocket, uh, GT platform pedals, um, a GT seat that came off of a a, a, a 29 inch GT uh, bike. Actually, a 29 inch uh, Dino Dino. Uh, I can't remember what the what, what the bike was, but uh, Jason bought that one too, so he's got that. We got some ODI grips uh, in purple with white end caps. We have a GT uh, mallet stem, as we can see here. Um, got the initials on, on the front, same thing, stenciled in in white, clear coated over top. Um, you know, we have a, uh, a new headset. Um, what I love about the three piece cranks is those are sealed bearings, just as they're sealed bearings in the head tube instead of loose ball bearings. Um, we put some GT pegs on the back, uh, the original um, specialized uh, seat clamp. Uh, but we also have a, a Rant purple chain, which looks really cool with the white sprocket. Um, yeah, it all came together real nice. Oh, we didn't talk about tires. Um, these are Colt Vans, 16 inch tires. Um, look really cool, really wide. Um, you know, plenty of room actually under the fork. And there was plenty of room out back. Um, the only question mark is that, you know, the bike originally had a, uh, you know, a, a chain guard. So that's what this piece is here, and it comes really close to the chain. So, um, Jason, I don't know if you've got a, something you can grind that off with. Maybe you could do that. I didn't want to do that in case you wanted to put something back on. But uh, it doesn't touch, so all good. Um, but you could even bend it out of the way. Uh, what else? Put a railed seat on, which is cool, and that's a Black Ops seat post 22.2 uh, with some generic seat guts. Uh, to round it out. But yeah, coaster brake works. Everything looks good. Um, she'll have a good time riding this. So we'll zoom back out so you can see it one more time. Again, a 16 inch specialized hot rock. Now it's a custom bike with uh, a lot of cool parts. Skyway Tough Twos, GT parts, uh, Rant Chain. Just looks really, really cool. Um, she'll probably really enjoy this. All right guys, Apex BMX out.